The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. It's Q101. Ahoy! Let's go! We wake it up, Chicago! Turn up the radio, it's time to start the show! On Q101! Well, if you want shady, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of weed, mix with some hard liquor, some black, and then I'll jumpstart my heart quicker than a shock when I get shocked at the hospital by the doctor when I'm not cooperating. When I'm rocking the table while he's operating. Hey! You waited this long to stop debating, cause I'm back, I'm on the brag and ovulating. I know that you got a job, Miss Cheney, but your husband's heart problem's complicating. So the FCC won't let me be, or let me be me, so let me see. They try to shut me down on MTV. Okay, let's go. It is Friday. You made it. Well, listen, you got Friday to go through, and we're here for that. That's what Brian and Ken's are here for, to get you through the end of the day, or at least closer to it. 312-591-8300 is how you communicate with us for the next four hours. And, man, do we got a lot. So we're an hour away from the last chance for the Know the Show hour for the 1975 on Sunday at Allstate Arena. And you will meet the 1975. You'll meet them. That's big stuff right there. Yeah. You never know. They might say, hey, we got an after party. We're going to go over here afterwards. And the thing is with the 1975 is they go back and forth. So it's like there's a meet and greet offered right now, which is kind of unheard of because like when they came for Lollapalooza, they were they were like absolutely no contact. Sometimes they go through those phases of like, there's no meet and greet. There's no interview. We don't want people to see us if we're not on stage. It's like they're running around in sheets or something. Like, so they go through like these weird phases right which which i get probably like uh trying to avoid getting sick because they have big shows or things like that yeah so it's not like every time they're even here you get this chance it's very it's rare. Really cool they were going through a lot around Lollapalooza time if you remember oh, yeah. the international incident it caused a big problem and i remember he kissed a boy and he, he liked it yeah he, he actually was man he was actually known for doing that he's kissed audience members Hell yeah. and Elvis used to do it all the time. Only girls, but uh, <laughs> you know how he gets down. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> Dirty dog. He goes both ways. And then he was, was it Indonesia? Is that where he was? They I were think playing? so. And yeah. then they got banned from Indonesia because he did yeah. that. And then they got death threats. I remember. It was, I could see that. It That's was, a less popular choice in some areas. Yeah, you know, some are not as progressive. Some yes. parts of the, of the world as here. As so, Chicago. Yeah, so it's funny you say that, Kenzie, about them sometimes not being able to track down and meeting greets and whatnot. Because yes. perhaps, allegedly, we were going to do a 1975 meet and greet earlier this year, but perhaps, allegedly, they were deemed, quote, an international security threat, and thus we could not do the giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, hypothetically. It's yeah. a bummer. So, could you I'm, I'm, imagine I'm... <laughs> that your whole goal for getting back at them for kissing a guy was to win a meet and greet on q <laughs> and then attack him? Like, uh. You're like this horrible person who wants to harm him, and you're just calling Q101 every day trying to get in. Listen. The, guy's like, the guy wins and is like, you have no idea what this means to me. This is going to be a big day when it happens. You're going to hear about it. Oh, you're going to. This is going to go down in the books. Didn't realize the phone lines were flooded with Indonesian terrorists. <laughs> I, look, who at that time. I, I didn't know that at the we, time. We, we are big in Chicago just, land and just, Indonesia. It doesn't have to be that. It could just be people who are less... Progressive. Oh, could be that. Okay, there's a there's a scale that starts there and it goes to there. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you remember, they told us that they were gonna fly in, come from O'Hare, get driven right to the stage of Lollapalooza, perform, get in that same car, get back to O'Hare, and get the hell out of town. That was what happened at Lollapalooza. You know what was I I didn't want to be critical. Uh oh. But I thought it was hilarious that while they were in the middle of a international security threat, they give us a very detailed plan of exactly what they were gonna do. They're like, we're gonna get in our black SUV with this license plate. We're yeah. gonna drive here. We're taking the same car, not a different one. Immediately I go, this is you should probably stop telling people this because well, <laughs> this I is guess, a bad idea. I guess if we knew that. Other people were told that, too? Oh, we didn't even ask. We just asked for meet and greets. They could have said we're busy. Yeah. And they were like, no. Yeah. And here's our day. You should see. <laughs> we're going to email the itinerary to you. I'm like, I don't. 
I don't think this is a good game plan. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Well, so, that's over. All-State Arena, you can meet them finally. Yeah. Yay. And that, that fervor is all over, too, as far as we know. So everything will be fine at the All-State Arena Sunday night. Fingers crossed. Okay, so 1975, and you'll meet them, and it will be the 7 a.m. hour. It is the Know the Show hour. So you got to listen from 7 to 8. At 8, we ask you three questions about stuff we talked about that hour. And the first person to answer those questions Gets that prize. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. No Con, Q101 show the Alpine Valley coming up in a little while, next year. Let's not worry about that. Let's worry about Halloween tonight uh, with Q101 at the Cubby Bear and, of course, uh, the next couple days. So with the fact coming up that makes your brain go, we have some interesting stats about Halloween costumes from Illinois. Maybe you're still looking for one like me. I don't know what I'm going to be tonight. Uh, I always wait uh, to the last minute. I pulled off miracles. So... Can I, can I say what you were thinking about being and why? Can I just tell the story that we just had off air for a second? Um, is it going to reveal what I'm going to probably be or you no? You don't know what you're going to be. I, okay, go ahead. So uh, how is that possible? I'm not sure what you're going to say. I, I brainstormed a few ideas. No, you were talking about being stepbrothers with Case. Yes. And then he goes, I couldn't find an Argyle sweater anywhere. And I go, yeah, nothing would ship within four hours. Like, da- <laughs> that damn Amazon, it's only next day. Yeah, screw Why them. Why would you wait till now? Why, yeah, they can't give it to me the same day, yeah, Amazon? He's like, this is ridiculous. I can't find these anywhere. I'm like, Losers. well, you gave it four minutes. <laughs> Megan pays twenty dollars a month for Amazon Prime, and I can't get a sweater today. Yeah, you could. If the party was tomorrow, you could. If yeah. you would have put that much effort in. I thought about it yesterday. I just didn't want to order, and then they get you know somebody steals it from our porch. The damn porch pirates out there too stealing my sweaters. Seems That's like how a you leap. should be. You should show up in a pirate costume holding a bunch of Amazon packages. You should be a porch pirate. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, so that, that took Kenzie two seconds. You had a month and a half. Knowing this show is going to happen. I don't think about it a month and a half ago. Do you have any ideas I've given him? Because he's bitched about this for months. I'm okay, sure bitched is a strong word. I don't think I complained about it. Like, Case? I can't find I don't a costume. Know. When I see you, I think bitched. <laughs> okay. Listen. <laughs> but bitching about a Halloween Ding. costume, I don't think that's where I would, what I've been doing. I've just said, I don't know what to be. I don't know what to do. But then it always but comes to me. people then help you, and you just sit there like... Like, nothing's good enough for you, but you have no ideas. Well, that's true, too. Like, you're a princess. That's right. Nothing's good Bring enough for me. me. More options. That's right. Okay. Off like with your head. It's awful. Yeah. Well, I'll figure out something. It'll be wonderful tonight. I promise. It'll be really good. Porch Pirate would be good. Kenzie just gave you that idea on the house. Can I actually steal real packages on the way there? I'm not going to. I don't know what you're going to do. I honestly don't care what you do. You're such a loose cannon during this event. Last year, you were out of your mind. That was a great time. You got so drunk. I got so drunk, and then Megan got mad when I tried to, well, I tried to actually pee on her when I got home. <laughs> <laughs> it was mistaken bathroom situation. We you, just... Oh, you could be a golden shower for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, Brian, do you want to do that? How do I do that? I'm trying to think of what I do. You could have... Um, you could, get some, you could get like so a PVC Kelly. pipe that comes out of your pants and okay. curves, All right. kind of like in the shape of a rainbow, and make it like put like gold tinsel on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I'm either gonna be a porch pirate and have like a video camera because those guys always want to do that too. Oh, of course, and they don't. Not, it's not good enough to just do it. They gotta share it. Oh yeah, of course. They gotta look back. Well, why do anything if you can't look at it again? Amen, you know what brother. I mean? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Well, time for some facts that make your brain just go. And these are about Halloween. And as we just talked about, I, th- I think I may have my costume set. I think I may have it done. Finally done for tonight at the Cubby Bear with Weathers as You're performing welcome. as Green Day. Well, I'm not sure if that's the one or not, but if it is, thank you, Kenzie, very much oh, so. Oh, jeez, you're not sure. You just randomly came up with one in your mind and didn't share during the break? Yep, got another one. Just popped in there. Took me a little bit, marinated. Oh, okay. So, um, also a reminder that the first 101 people that come in tonight for the free pop-up at the Cubby Bear get this sweet Q101 exclusive Halloween shirt that you'll it's see. It's so cool. I'm posting it right now. Oh, good. Kenzie got a picture of it, and uh, well, you'll see us both in there. What happens the before and after? Or if you do, if you get there too late of the 101, you don't get the shirt. So get there early to get this awesome shirt. Now with Halloween, um, a lot of people. Do you think? And maybe you know better than I do, Kenzie. Yes. Is the as the sexy costume still popular? Like sexy nurse or sexy devil or whatever when you go out? Yes, into sexy the clubs? costumes are still. Across the board. They haven't been they haven't been canceled though. That's not what I'm thinking of. They, is it kind of been no, like if anything, I think they've been amped up like it's our bodies, you know. Oh, okay. You're not gonna shame us. 
That's good to know. We're just going to be whores. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> we don't have to go that far, but just maybe. Uh, it relates to some of the facts here. So Illinois actually doesn't do too well. With states that wear scandalous Halloween costumes, only 9%. Because it's cold as hell. That's probably part of it, but I mean, it is yeah. supposed to be freezing actually on listen, Halloween. Go to, listen, yes, Kuja, you go to a Halloween party in Miami, mm. I people are just Adam and Eve. It's just unbelievable. It's just what they are for Halloween. There's well, just no clothing. Believe it or not, Mississippi, like you said, the southern states do Alabama, Mississippi, like 40%, 31%. Florida says well, 13%. Think of, school, think of the schools there. Ah. Uh, Those yeah. colleges, because that's when it's more... Yeah. It's like very young adult is when you're like, wow, right. you know, like this tassels uh, on my nips. <laughs> <laughs> well, to your point, Arizona's pretty high, too, with Scottsdale and yes. all that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. But to us, uh, not so good. Like Indiana's 5%, Wisconsin's 4 The more north you go and the colder it gets, the less of the sexy costumes. When I moved, now I wouldn't have dressed sexy because I was like junior high, so I wouldn't have been able to. But Thank God. when I moved from North Carolina to Minnesota... I was shocked the first Halloween because it was snow. It was, and there was like a substantial amount of snow. Like it stuck, it stuck to the ground. Snow. Sure. And I, I was miserable because I had just come from North Carolina where you could be really whatever you wanted. It wasn't cold, yeah. right? And that was my experience with Halloween. And then I moved up to Minnesota, and I walked around in like a snowsuit because I was freezing. Every time somebody asked what I was, I said cold. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah, it is. Well, but then the thing is. Girls don't want to wear coats in a sexy costume either on those nights. They never want to wear a coat. So you see them, especially Wrigleyville, you just see them running down the street like half naked because they don't see, want to hide their this costume. Is where you got to get creative. Okay. I did a good job of a sexier costume one year that was warm. You got to think outside of the box. So instead of thinking like shorts and like your stomach showing or this, you got to think more like bodysuit, right? So I was puss in boots. Mm. The cat, so I wore a cat suit, like, tight, and then I bought pirate accessories and put it on top, so I was pussing boots, but it was warm. Yeah. It was completely warm, but you were in, like, a nice little, Still like, cat sexy. suit. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta think about it. Yeah. Because you could be, like, you could be a sexy astronaut and have a whole, you know, like, the little tinfoil, but, like, full body suit then. But don't you think some girls don't want the body suit? They want to show off everything? But you can show off everything in a body suit. You don't see everything. Do you think Catwoman looked like a nun? Or do you think mm. she looked hot? Now I'm just picturing Catwoman as a nun. That's weird. It is a little that, weird. Why would that turn you on? It, it, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> also, part of this study shows that 39% of people assume if you're wearing a sexy costume, you're trying to get laid. That, uh, no. People that wear that, that's what they're doing on purpose to go out there and I think people put it out there. miss the fact that, like, uh, and I know it's like, oh, obviously you're doing this for attention or whatever, but I just think that sometimes people want to feel good. It's about dressing up, and unfortunately that's part of, like, you know, like male attention and female, though, because there's going to be, you're going to go to the bathroom, slightly tipsy, and girls are going to be like, I wish I had that body. You look amazing. Like, it just, it helps you feel good about yourself. <laughs> Is that what they sound like uh, in the bathroom? You should see it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a support group in there. <laughs> well, there's always the dudes that walk around, too, as, like, let's say, gladiators, so they can show off all their abs and how they work out and don't eat. Yeah, and it's but like, it's like, you know, I, I get it. I That never... It never bothered me. It only bothers me in certain settings. Because, uh, th- listen, if you're going to a club or something, like, okay, they're allowed to be sexy. Like, when, when people get mad about that, I think you're just mad because you didn't do it or you think they look really good. Because that's not fair. Uh, now, if it's a, a child's Halloween party and they show up, you're like, oh, okay. Like, I, there's a big difference between my neighborhood community pool swimsuits and my Vegas swimsuits. Uh-huh. Time and place. Uh-huh. Time and place. Here comes Aunt Whore to ruin the Halloween party for little Timmy. Yeah, it's like, okay, that's just, we gotta, we gotta readjust. This is a, a trick-or-treating event. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Remember, the Know the Show Hour starts at 7, 15 minutes away for the 1975 tickets, and you'll meet the 1975 Coming up for Sunday's show at the Allstate Arena. So listen for the entire hour, but it starts at 7. Just make sure you're here right at the beginning of it with Brian and Kenzie here on Q101. Yesterday, we talked about this trending story of where you should go for a first date. And a bunch of women got together and put up places you should not go or what you should not do 
Most of it was a lot of fast food places or just restaurants like Olive Garden, Applebee's, Chipotle. Some things were involving... There were some bangers in there. I'm like, uh, chill out, bro. Yeah, we, I think, as a group, disagreed with most of them, right? I think we did. And Case put the list up on our Facebook page, Q101's Facebook page, and it it took off. I mean, there's about six or 700 comments of people chiming in. And a lot of people chimed in, like Jennifer. I met my boyfriend, and he took me to TGIFs. For our first date 24 years ago. Been married for 21 of them. Yeah. Just enjoy yourself. Also, uh, Jared checked in a skate park. Uh, took my uh, lady to a skate park for her first date. That's actually free. That's pretty good. Uh, my husband of 15 years, Joanna's checked in. I took my, my husband took me to a Buffalo Wild Wings. Delicious. Well, because it's also, it's so per the couple. Like, the only one I saw on there that I'm like, eh, was really like going to the gym for a first date. I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. know how to do that. But there's probably some couples that are like bodybuilders, and that's a that's a bonding thing. So it's so it's so unique what you would enjoy as a date yep. that it's just it's just stupid to put together a huge do not like a skate park. Yeah, I don't skate, so I would just sit there. But if you liked skating, that'd be a great date. It's also fun to watch people's things do you can't do like skate. I know, but you don't get to talk a lot then if it's a first <laughs> date. I, if it's your boyfriend, like yeah, who cares? Yeah. But it'd be hard to get to know him if he's. Yeah. And this brought up, we saw something uh, last night with Russell Wilson. He took Sierra. Russell Wilson plays for the Broncos, married to Sierra, the uh, singer. Sierra, this beat is automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh, work my body so melodic. I was going to beatbox, but I just thought you were doing oh, okay on your own. So good. Yeah. <laughs> it was her 38th birthday. He rented out an entire Waffle House for his pregnant wife, Sierra, and just for themselves. So they basically had a Waffle House night. It looks awesome. You know, of course, if you haven't, Waffle House is, they're more in the South. Maybe in, there might be some in Southern Illinois. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. They're very prominent in the South. There's none here, but if you haven't been to one, it's just obviously a 24 hour diner. Nothing hits harder after the, like the club. They're going to a oh. Waffle House. I play, oh. When I played in a band, that was our spot afterward. And three, four, five in the morning, Waffle House, uh, some of the most amazing things happened that we can't talk about. <laughs> some of the most amazing <laughs> things happened. I, I, I hate the phrase that, People say, hey, nothing good happens after midnight. The best times of my life have happened after midnight. God, I hope Harper was born right after midnight because that's just not going to sound good for coming. She was conceived after midnight. She was born in the morning. So it's not a good thing to say. Well, what's the better, what's the better part? <laughs> conception or birth? Uh, I mean, conception, birth. What's more fun for me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not not the wife. Was that was the birth really hard on you, Brian? It was very difficult. I had to hold her leg. Oh my god! But either way, okay. I said some of the best times. A lot of the best times of my life happened after midnight. So don't be afraid to go to a place like Waffle House if you ever get down south. But yeah, good. That, that they're they're worth probably together six hundred million dollars. I'm guessing with her money and his money, he's got about two to three hundred million from football. She's got a maybe not two or three hundred from singing. Maybe maybe she's in that range. So, they went to Waffle House. Why can't you go there? You know what I mean? Well, that's... What, okay, we were talking about this yesterday, and for me, it's that... I, if you meet a, a great guy or girl, whatever, that you're getting along with and you're having a great date, again, it's it's about the thought. So, if they do something kind of thoughtless, like there was a girl who called in yesterday, like, we went to Wendy's and he didn't pay for me and he showed up on a skateboard so I had to walk there. That's him being kind of a jerk and not thinking about you through and through, yeah. right? But it, it's more about the actual thought than like, you know, what someone's able to afford necessarily. Because I promise you, if you're with the right person, you're going to end up with bougie dinners in your life and bougie trips at some point, right? But it's like, just have fun. Just enjoy it. Go to good places. Have fun. It is good to be memorable. You know, if you want to do something fun as opposed to, like, you don't have to spend money to have fun or do something unique, like a Waffle House or something, whatever. You know, instead of typical things, stand out. Yeah. Do, do that with your personality. I hopefully. just think it's, I do think it's social media having an effect because I, I think really young women or maybe even girls, like maybe they weren't even 18, made that list. Because yeah. they look at social media and they're like, I want to get flown out. I want that. I want, I better be a Bora Bora next week. I bet it's like, that's just, you can date a total prick. And sure, yeah. he can take you to Bora Bora, but I promise you, you you'll you cry the whole time. It's not fun. <laughs> well, go go to the list of Q101's Facebook page. You can see, uh, add on there, of course, and share it and comment and do your thing because uh, do you. That's what we're saying. Do you. 
The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. All right. Well, the Know the Show hour starts in six minutes. Your chance at the 1975 tickets, and you will meet them. You just listen for the entire 7 o'clock hour, but you got to be here at the beginning at 7 a.m. First, it's Gil Curtis. This is not headline news. A week after playing with the Rolling Stones, Lady Gaga joined U2 on stage in Vegas. Since Tony Bennett died, she's been missing that old man smell. TikTok is testing out letting users post 15-minute videos. They're calling the new feature YouTube. Kylie Jenner launched a clothing line. Can't afford her clothes, but still want to be like Kylie Jenner? Drop out of high school. Gwyneth Paltrow will add discounted Goop products to Target and Walmart. Because even poor Americans deserve access to garbage. This is not headline news. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.